Hey, shout out to Mark you. Y'all about to see me on Shot Brock. You know, this is another GMS Friday North Carolina camp. A collaboration with Spirit Pipe. Y'all about to see me on Shot once again. You know, before we go any further, we want to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son. Yahweh, And next up, the honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. We still got it to the hours and bowers and feed us with us with 100% truth according to the Bible. And they be immersing in peace, blessings, and sanctity of the earth, with boldness, righteousness, and sincerity to the best of their abilities. In the names of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, what the people here, what are they for? Ben. Time. Time. Yep. So, hey. To the spirit pop, Yahweh, the book to get up. Oh, Salaki, right? What you say? You, you got it, Salaki, bro. It's a lag in between, Salaki. You got it, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, me and the brothers are able to get up to the spirit pop, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. This is we're going to go in on the destruction of America of these missiles and laser beams, man. That's right. Further ado, but jump right into the scripture. Con, con. Um, if you can bring me uh, Isaiah 13 and 9, because the scriptures talks about how the land would be laid desolate. And, and what's the only instrument, what's the only, um, you know, tools that can make that happen? You no, know? the missiles, you know? That's right. So um, if you can, one of your brothers can bring me Isaiah 13 and 9. I got it. Bubba Kishore, the water. Con, this, this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. It says, Behold. Behold means to look, to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. See, our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai, who our people ignorantly call Jesus, is coming cruel, all right? With wrath and fierce anger. He's not coming with kisses and hugs, all right? With uh, um, blueberry muffins, all right? He's coming cruel, <laughs> wrath with fierce anger. He's going to be angry, man. Contrary to popular belief. Right. <clears throat> it reads on. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Oh, Salaki, bro. I missed, the, uh, I missed the last line. Did you say to lay the land desolate? Uh, I'm already getting no Salaki. That's my fault, brother. You good. This is Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. Both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate. And that land is talking about America. That word desolate goes into um demolish, flatline. Okay, America is gonna be flatline. Everything that we see around us, man, is gonna be flatline. All the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Alright, and the only instruments that can do that is when Lord Yahweh Shai comes, he's gonna be shooting laser beams on this place, man. Okay, yeah. plus those missiles that are gonna be shot off to here in America, alright, to lay this land desolate. So that, that land is talking about America. That's right. Let me read one more time. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with the wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, mm -hmm. and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So our Lord is our Lord and Savior is coming to destroy the sinners thereof out of out of it. All right, he's coming to purge all the wickedness off the face of this earth, man. All right, and only our people can sin, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, who made a covenant with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, but, hey, uh, these heathens, man, start with the so-called white man and all these other heathen nations. All right, they're wicked, man. All right, so they're going to have to be purged of their wickedness as well, man. All right, so the Lord is coming to destroy all the sinners thereof out of this land, man. Okay, and off the face of the earth. All right. Got two precepts for you. Come this is the book of Psalms 7 and 11. The Most High judges the righteous, and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. Yep. Hey, the Lord, <laughs> that's beautiful precept, bro. The Lord is angry with the wicked every day, man. All right? Hey, the Lord is is um beholding the wickedness that's going on here on the face of the earth, man. All right? The chemtrails being sprayed, the food being polluted. All right, the water being polluted, the minds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans being polluted. All right, by the so-called white man and his philosophies and doctrines. All right, the Lord is angry, man. He has a controversy with the inhabitants of the earth, man. All right, and he's going to also judge the righteous. All right, he's going to judge the good and evil, man. All right, which the righteous is going to ultimately be the elect who are going to get beamed up in those chariots. You know? Well, 
boy. This huh. is the book of Uno, chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the simple kingdom. See, the eyes of the Lord is upon the sinful kingdom, man. All right? America. Okay. Okay, he's he's got an eye on America as well as the angels, man. The angels who's keeping a, a, a record of the things that's going on, man. Sending the report up to the Lord, right? Okay, and, and and he's um keeping track of all the wickedness going on, all the the um homosexual activities, all right, being promoted, you know, and being um pushed, the the uh, idol worshiping going on here, you know, right. all the pollution that's going on here, man. You know, you want to chime in, bro? Nah, what? And it reads on, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So the Lord is going to destroy this place off the face of the earth, man. All right? And he's going to use Lord Yahweh Shai, who are people in the called Jesus, all right, is coming to, to destroy this place with laser beams and those um, ICBM missiles. Those missiles not being built to go in museums. All right? That's, That's what's right. going to destroy this place off the face of the earth, man. That's right. And it reads I, on. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. I got a quick one. Okay. <laughs> I got a quick one. <laughs> Come on. This is uh, explain one to you, brothers. This is Psalm Come. 1 and 8. It says, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all the wicked doers from the city of the Lord. That's right, man. See, so Yahweh by Shimon is about to cut off Esau, Edom, in the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven. And also, two thirds of our people that want to be wicked, they're going to be exterminated too, because that's not going to be in the kingdom of heaven, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Like, like, Contrary to popular belief of what Tupac said, it ain't no heaven for a G, man. Right? <laughs> All you gangsters, you thugs, and you homos, man, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be exterminated right along with the so-called white man, you know? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. I'm going to read it again. This is Psalms 101 and 8. It says, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may yep. cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. That's right. And the wicked is uh, ultimately the so-called white man, according to uh, Malachi, the first chapter, in right. Job 24, man. Mm -hmm. That's the wicked of the wicked. But two-thirds of our people follow right behind the wicked, so they wicked as well, man. <laughs> right. So they're going to get a wicked's reward, man. Yeah. That's right. So you're going to be destroyed right along with the wicked for being wicked. Mm -hmm. you know? That's <laughs> right. <laughs> and look, and the ICBM, ICBM missiles was going to ultimately uh, do it along with the cherries of the Lord. Mm hmm. Yep. Be a precept. Got it, the water, brother. Uh, this is back in Amos 9 and 8. And it is Satan that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Yeah, so the Lord is going to preserve the, the, um, the saints, starting with the elect, man. Okay? Yeah. So, so this place is going to be purged of its wickedness, man. The, the, the wicked nations, starting with the so-called white men, the doodle eating Africans, because we're not African. The so-called um, um, so Japanese, Lockheed, so-called Chinese, so-called Samoans, you know, the Arabs, along with these two-thirds, two-thirds of our people that fall on behind these wicked nations, man. All right? But he's going to preserve the, 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 the elect, you know? Out of all the wicked, the, all of the uh, destruction is coming forth, man, with those ICBM missiles, you know? That's right, man. Verse 10, and it reads, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Hey, all the sinners of my people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Lord is speaking to you, man. Okay? Hey, that, that word my is possessive. All right? Shall, right? shall die by the sword, man. A sword is any killing instrument. You got Jacob's trouble coming forth, man. Evil times at all-time high. Pestilence. All right? Martial law. Okay? Race riots is coming. Okay, uh, um, Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to shoot laser beams on this place, hey, as well as those ICBM missiles, man. So that, that tells you that Lord hates the sinner, okay? Contrary to these false prophets out here telling you the Lord hates the sin, not the sinner. Well, he's destroying the sinner off the face of the earth, man. That's right. That's, That's right. right. And it reads, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And it goes back to um, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because since it's against an evil... Um, hasn't wasn't executed speedily it's in the hearts of men to do evil man so right. our people man they, they they feel like oh well i ain't been put to death i've been selling drugs for years you know yeah. ain't nothing happened to me i'm still um keep slanging this rock all right, right. well the lord's gonna catch catch um give you a judgment come soon man all right the lord is long suffering he don't forget anything man God. yeah 
I got a precept since uh, you brought that last uh, uh, scripture out, the Amos 9 and t uh, 10. This is uh, Psalms 104 and 35. It says, let the sinners be consumed out of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the only people that can sin are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Because sin is the transgression of the law, according to 1 John 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. So the scripture says you're going to be consumed, man. What are you going to be consumed with? Those mm -hmm. icy missiles and missiles in the mm -hmm. chariots will really cause you a foes, man. The Lord is coming back with destruction. You know? As a matter of fact, uh, one of your brothers can hold a Luke 12 and 49. Huh. I got it. Because the Lord himself, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, said that he's coming to send fire on the earth, man. That's right. Right. That's, that's right. what you're going to be consumed with. Fire, man. It was that's with right. water fruits, and now it's going to be with fire. Mm. That's right. A.K.A. the second death. That's right. You ready for so it? This is, oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, 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 you read it. If, if you want it, you can be, go ahead and get it. We'll come back to this. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and get it on The book of St. Luke, chapter 12, verse 49. Mm -hmm. I am come to send fire on the earth, mm -hmm. and what will I if it be already kindled? Right, see, this is the Lord Yahweh Shah speaking who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, man. See, I thought, the, I thought Jesus Christ, so who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ was all about love, though, man. Right. You know, he was coming back to bring serenity. Integration. Yeah. Everybody's gonna give each other hugs right. and hand out flowers and stuff like that. Right. You know, the Lord just said He's coming to send fire on the earth, man. That's right. That sounds like destruction to me. That sounds like killing to me. That's you know, right. that sounds like a, that the Lord is angry and that He's very austere, man. Mm -hmm. You know, He's straight to the point. That's right. Uh, you can uh, finish that off, goodbye. Right. Read, read, read it one more time, all right? Saint Luke chapter twelve, verse forty-nine. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? You see, th th this is not going to come out in church, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. Look, look, this had the congregation running out of the church building, man. But look, this is the truth according to the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord said he come to set this place on fire, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And what will it be if it already be kindled? Because it's mm -hmm. going to be already kindled from the ICBM missiles, man. That's right. You know? And the certain uh, explosions that go off when they hit certain, uh, 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 you know, like um, these, like um, power plant buildings and stuff like that. These yep. nuclear buildings that they have, you know yep. what I'm saying? This place is gonna already be on fire, man. So the Lord said, "I'm coming to set this place on fire." But what will it be? It'll already be kindled, man. He's gonna bring more fire, mm -hmm. man. Not peace, not hugs, not kisses. Okay, not uh, uh, uh. uh uh, um, turkey legs and things that no man he's bringing fire man mm -hmm. that's right you know and look and the sinners of our people are going to get it man that's right you know the hell with these heathens we know they're fit for destruction but look with this message is for the elect of the nation of Israel look don't, don't be like that, that those wicked uh, people man that's right you repent turn back to the heavenly father or you're going to get you're going to be missile food man that's right right so I'm going to go back. This is Psalms 104 and 35. It says, Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth and let the wicked be no more. Right. So called white man, you're going to be exterminated in the kingdom of heaven. Like I said earlier, through the spirit of Pavia by Shema and Shah. And so is the, the, the two thirds of our people, man. You know? Because what they, what they, they, how they carry themselves here and uh, on this wicked, on this side right here, it's not going to be tolerated in the kingdom of heaven, man. Ain't no man. Gonna try to be no woman in the kingdom of heaven. Right, family. right. You know, ain't no man gonna try to sleep with no little boy. You know, ain't no man right. gonna have those those wicked thoughts in the kingdom of heaven, man. So all that got to be uh, exterminated on this side. You know, right. right. You saw, you know, you're gonna be destroyed uh, right after a uh, thousand years of slavery, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what the Lord said the Bible. Obadiah the uh, 18th verse. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it up. Uh, this is Psalms 104 and 35. It says, Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let yep. the wicked be no more. Yep. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Right. And one of the ways how you praise the Lord is you got to know the name. Right. You got to know the name of the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, in order for you to praise Him. Mm -hmm. You know? Praise Him uh, directly. So, right. contrary to what these false Israelite camps say, the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, which means that He is or He mm -hmm. exists. Right. The, the only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah, which means he delivers or he saves or rescues. Right. You know? That's thus if the Lord, thus if the Bible. 
that's the that's the only way how you can praise the Lord and acknowledge Him if you know who He is. Mm -hmm. You know, right. right. I got a precept since we're All talking right. about missiles. Jeremiah fifty and nine. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her. Yep. And it says, <clears throat> from thence she shall be taken. Yep. Their oh, arrows wait, shall... Wait, 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 go back, go back. What, 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 what's Babylon? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> That's Babylon right. is part of the yes. America, man. That's yep, right. You know, all the wicked and filthy acts that we're on in Babylon, you know, America is that is that uh, a spiritual Babylon nowadays, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't see America in the Bible. Where is it? Where is it? It's, it's, it's spiritually, man. Yep. No. Cause, yep. Cause, Cause, what does Babylon mean? Confusion, Confusion. right? Confusion. That describes right. America to the T. Babal. Babal. Yep. Yep. That's right. Revelation uh, eleven, chapter and eight, verse. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm gonna read it from the top. Jeremiah fifty and nine. For lo. I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon yep. an assembly of great nations from the north country. Right, because everybody's going to hate this war, man. Everybody's mm -hmm. going to come against America in that day. You know, even America's allies. I mean, it tells you that in the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. So America, which is uh, Babylon, which is all, a.k.a. also the north country, yep. the Lord's going to pull the nations against her, man. All these different countries. Are going to come up against America to bomb her, man. That's it's right. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her. Right. And that word array means to assemble, to come together. It yep. says, from thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. Exactly. See, the arrows are talking about the missiles, man. You know, as a, as like, like as a, a person that's good at shooting bows and arrows. It's not going to miss that target. Right. So these actually doing missiles are not going to miss that target, man. You know? Once you get shot off here in America, the Yahweh Shima Shah is going to program those missiles to come and, and, and come and drop right where the target is supposed to be. That's right. Right in America, man. Every single point. You know? And, and it's spiritual because you, you look at the way the missiles shoot out the silos and how they, how they um, when, they, when they're shot off, how they are angled. It looks just like a, a bow and arrow when it's shot off, right? But a yep. bow and arrow, actual bow and arrow cannot reach another country. So it, yep. it, it, you know it's talking about missiles, you know what I mean? Because these missiles can travel far distance. Right. Uh -huh. That's why they call ICBMs, which means intercontinental ballistic oh, missiles. That's, That's right. right. It says none shall return in vain. Right. Uh -huh. They're going to hit that target, man. That's yeah. right. Ain't no, ain't no missiles gonna be hitting each other while they in the sky. Right. Oh no, oh, no. they gonna, they gonna hit America. They gonna bomb this place, man. They gonna. Right. <laughs> the Lord is a consumer fire, so Yah by Shimon Shah is gonna put a spear on those missiles to hit every single target that he wants to hit, man. That's right. Hey, hey Naquam, you mean to because, tell me uh, we're vain? Huh? Salaki, my brother. bad. Not to interrupt. Go ahead. Go ahead. You mean to tell me America's defense system is it gonna hit the uh, missiles, bro? Oh no! <laughs> because first of all, and if you look at it scientifically, uh, the ICBM missiles are uh, uh, have, te have technology to have an EMP system in there. Mm. Like, shut down to the America's defense system, man. Uh, you know that's right. And, uh, some of the, uh, the missile experts brought that out. Uh -huh. uh. They have the technology and power to do that. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. And the scriptures tell you. Um, how many missiles are going to be shot off, man? In, mm -hmm. um, in, uh, in Revelation, man, the ninth chapter. God. Yeah. I really want to get that. Yep. Um, I got you. What, uh, 9 and 15 or 16? Somewhere around there? Um, no, so it, 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 uh, those, yeah. it's going to be many arrows that shot off, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's going to, that's going to uh, uh, smoke this place called America, man. That's right. That's right. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Number of the army of the horsemen. See, look, look. These arrows are part of the army of the Lord too, man. You know, these yep. these arrows that the brothers just that just read in Jeremiah the fifth chapter. Hey, look, man. This is part of the army of Yahweh by Shimei man. Who the mm -hmm. world really calls God and Jesus Christ, man. Right. As the brothers broke down the uh, the, 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 the definitions, the true meanings of the names to you, man. 
Okay? Yahweh, he is or he is this. Yahweh Shai, he's the liberal or savior, man. Okay? Of his people. Okay? That's their army. That's right. That's Part right. of their army. All right? right? Read it from the top, Baba Kasha. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 16. Uh -huh. And the number of the army of the horsemen uh -huh. is 200,000. That's right, 200,000, thousand, man. Mm. That's right. Yeah, and then, and then, and that, that horse represents power, man. That's right. There's, there's going to be power in these missiles, man. In the warheads, man. You can just imagine, man. Like the scripture said this place going to rock to and fro, man. You know? <laughs> yep. That's right. I got so look, man, look. America is, is already finished, man. You know, That's we just right. Planned, we just planned it out, man. Hey, you know? God. Hey, because uh, uh, the IC one one ICBM missile can destroy the whole state of Texas, man. Mm -hmm. So imagine two hundred million of them. <laughs> right. Two hundred thousand thousand. That's right. two hundred million right there, man. That's overkill. <laughs> yeah, that's execution that's style. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it reads on. And I heard the number. That was it. That's that just the point. Yeah, that was that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just the point. Yeah. Cut. I got a precept what Kabai quoted. I was holding it earlier. Okay. Um, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 2. Uh -huh. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. They said the, the, the earth's going to roll, uh, so reel to and fro like a drunkard. Man, no average arrow is not going to make the earth reel to and fro. Look, not even 200,000, thousand arrows are going to uh, make the earth rock to and fro, man. Right. Okay. It's talking about, look, because when the prophets were seeing, was, was uh, visualizing this, man, they saw the arrow, it, the, the ICB missiles look like arrows in the sky, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so they, 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 they broke it down and wrote it down the best that they could through the spirit of power you have by Shia was shot, man. Mm -hmm. You know, right. it's the ICB missiles, like the brother talked about, one ICB missile can destroy Texas, man. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to make the, the earth rock to and fro, man. Like a drunkard, you know, when someone's drunk, you know what I'm saying? They leave in the bar, they staggering, they mm -hmm. all all over the place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how this, that's how the earth is going to be, man. It says, "And shall be removed like a cottage, and a transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, uh -huh. and it shall fall and not rise again." Yep. So that's 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 pretty much the point, man. You know. This place is gonna gonna rock like a uh, like a uh, like a rocking chair, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like uh. a drunkard, as the scripture says. That's right. Uh. Hey, Rock, can you read that last part one more time? It says, Isaiah 24 and 20, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Right, that's talking about Esau's foolish shit, man. Yep. Once Esau, uh -huh. the so-called white man, goes out of power, he is not coming back into power again, man. Uh -huh. Another another scripture that says that as well is uh, Isaiah the 14th chapter, the 24th verse, man. Mm -hmm. 24th verse. Yep, yep, you know? yep. They shall not rise nor uh, possess the land nor uh, fill the face with cities, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. This yep. going to be totally wiped out, man. Esau, Edom, all these other nations are not coming back into power. Israelites got next, baby. That's right. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, bro, when we read earlier um, the Lord's eyes upon the sinful kingdom, yep. hey, he's he's preparing to execute vengeance on this place, man. That's right. And, and <laughs> he, you know how angry he is. He's sending 200 million ICBM missiles, man. He, he's right. angry at this place, man. That's right. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh, stop. I got a precept. Huh. This is the book of second, um, see, yeah, second Edges 16 and 13. Strong is his right hand that beneath the bow. His arrows that she, that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. And look, and that's talking about them ICBMs, man. Mm -hmm. They're not going to miss this target, man. The Spirit of the Lord is going to be in them missiles, man. That's right. And wherever the Lord wants them to, the, the, the target to hit is where they're going to hit, man. That's right. Okay, yep. it might be New York City, D.C., okay, Chicago, okay, Texas, California, all right, Florida, okay, states in between, but it's going to hit the mark where the Lord puts it, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the bow is talking about the silos, man, as they shoot off the missiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It reads on, 
when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Mm. That sounds like an intercontinental ballistic missile to me. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. and that's what's going to end Esau's rulership right there, man. Right. Got another one? Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah 54 and 16. Mm-hmm. Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. That's right, man. You know, the Lord created this. Look, you come back in your same lot, man. Okay? Like, what's that? Ecclesiastes, the third chapter? There's no new thing up under the sun? Yep. Mm-hmm. Or was that the first chapter? I believe it's the third chapter. Third chapter? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, one and nine. Oh, one and nine. Yeah, I thought it was the first chapter. Yeah, the water. Oh, my bad. You know, so the Smiths come back and look. They, look the, the, they're coming back in their same lot too, man. You know, yeah. the Smiths back in the ancient in the ancient world, they would they would perfect those weaponries, okay? Yep. Those those swords, those shields, mm-hmm. okay, and things of that nature. That was that's what they perfected them, man. Okay, mm-hmm. now the Lord is bringing them that back as some scientists, man. To be able to split those 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 atoms, man. To create those ICBM missiles, man. That's right. You know? Go ahead. Yeah. Because think about it, in the ancient world they had bows and arrows, right? Yep. So it took a man that had uh uh had uh, to be smart to create a crossbow mm-hmm. that could shoot an arrow mm-hmm. when it pulled the trigger. You know? Mm-hmm. Yep. So like the brother said, they, they, they come back in a lot, there's no new thing under the sun, man. That's right. The technology improves. That's right. And it reads on, in the fire, that and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And hey, look, and look, that instrument for the Lord's work is some ICBM missile that's going to rock this place, man. We keep that's telling it. you, man. We keep bringing our scriptures, man. Look, America is done for, man, because it's that wicked and sinful kingdom. As, as the brothers brought out earlier, man, the Amos and Night chapter, man. Mm-hmm. You know? This is spiritually Babylon, man. That's right. Spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah. Definitely yep. spirit you saw making more. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know? Read it from the top, Papa This is the book of Isaiah 54 and 16. Mm-hmm. Behold, I created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. Look. Yeah, behold, look, man. Look, the Lord created these smiths, man, mm-hmm. that blew up the coal in the fire, man. Yep. And it reads on. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Mm-hmm. An instrument for the Lord's work, man. Mm-hmm. And the Lord has a purpose for these ICBMs, man. And it's right. not the, it's not to march up or down the streets of China or North Korea or Russia with them or Iran. It's to be put right. to use, man. Everything the Lord has has a use, man. Go ahead. And the reason, and I have created the waster to destroy. And the Lord called him a waster, man. Mm. Going back to Amos, the ninth chapter, man. This, this is the, the waster is what's going to make this place called America desolate, man. That's Uninhabitable, right. man. Nothing growing here. Nothing, nothing but desert creatures, man. That's right. I, I got a precept. God. Uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter nine, verse five. Spirit. For every battle of the warrior. Uh-huh. Is with confused noise. Uh-huh. And Talking don't... about those people wars, man. Uh-huh. You know, uh, uh, with those two two countries. You know what I'm saying? On uh, two separate sides, chanting their uh, chanting their God's name. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. running to each other. They they chanting. They yelling. You know, they getting they getting hyped up. You know. Uh-huh. Read on, brother. It says, "And garments rolled in blood." Right, because back back then, back in the ancient world. Uh, it was actually qu- close quarters combat, man. You know, with the swords, with the shield, mm-hmm. you know, with the uh, sticks. You know, it, it, it was barely uh, 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 long range combat back in the ancient world. You might mm-hmm. have your bows and arrows, you know, and so on and so forth. But back in the ancient world, it was more close quarters combat killing. Yep. You know? So every, everywhere somebody gets stabbed, it would, blood would gush out everywhere. You know? It's like if you watch that movie Gladiator, after the end of the war, it was nothing but bloodshed and body parts everywhere, man. Yep. Right. You know? Here you are, brother. It says, But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right, but this war that's about to come up is with burning and fuels of fire, mm-hmm. which is a.k.a. World War Three, man. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Albert Einstein said, he said, I don't know what World War uh, uh, Four is going to be fought with. But no, he said World War Three is gonna be fought with, but World War Four is gonna be with sticks and stones, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because he knew <laughs> uh, that, that the, uh, once the third war is will pop up, it ain't gonna be no more wars. That's man. Right. right. You know, <laughs> yep. it ain't gonna be no more wars because this place is gonna be destroyed. That's man. right. Right. You know. That's it on that. Oh yeah, yeah, con, con. I got one. Con, what you got? This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Now right. Jump down to 8. Oh, God. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Verse 8. Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. A time to love and a time to hate. Mm-hmm. A right. time of war and a time of peace. Right. See, and now is the time of war, man. And now is, now is the time of hate. We're not in the time of love, man. Even Lord right. Yahweh shall prophesy that he said the love of many shall wax cold. Mm-hmm. He was giving them the discernment of the what was going to happen at the latter days. He said the love of many is going to wax cold, man. Mm-hmm. So everybody's hating on each other right now, man. And what is that going to lead to? That's going to lead to nothing but all out war. Yes, you know? right. Because mm-hmm. war comes from hatred from each other. You know? Yep. This is thus said the book the Bible that we're reading, man. It's not our own word. That's right. right. I'm reading. I'm reading that last part again. This is Ecclesiastes no. three and eight: a time to love and a time to hate, a time right. of war and a time of peace. Right. And the time of loving is loving who? The brotherhood, man. You gotta love your brothers, uh, doing to your brothers as you would do to the Lord your house shy. Mm-hmm. You know. This is the time of loving the brotherhood and being more brotherly than ever, man. That's and right. Serving your shy and hating wickedness, man. That's right. Because the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, right? That's right. That's just of the Lord. That's right. So it's a time for us to love each other and hate evil and wait on the Lord to come back and destroy this place, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. That was it on that, brother? Yeah, that was it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's see if I can grab one more. I mean, if your brother ain't got some, I got one last one. I mean, brothers ain't got no precepts. Yeah, I don't all have right. any. I got, well, all right, this is uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah, we're in that point in time, man. The end of Esau, the so-called white man's rulership, man. All right? This is the point of time that we're in. How do we know? Because measuring the times diligently. You see from everything that's happening in the news, the uh-huh. scriptures uh, spoke about, the ancient prophets spoke about, the prophets in these times are speaking about. Lord Yahweh spoke about these things. Uh-huh. You know? So we're in that appointed time, the end of Esau rulership. It says, Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And it's speaking loud and clear. You see in the mark of the beast, uh, already here, it's been here, you know, and it's getting ready to be um, fully implemented. The ICBM missiles, hey, just about, um, you know, every every country got missiles, man. From uh, Saudi Arabia to um, East India, okay, uh, Iran, Iraq. You know, North Korea, China. So the vision is speaking loud and clear, man. You're seeing these things. It's on the news. It's evident, man. Uh-huh. Cut. It reads on Habakkuk 2 and 3. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Hey, and, and hey, the Lord is not a man he should lie. He's bound by his words. Okay, his uh-huh. word will not return unto him void, man. The Lord spoke of these things that will come forth through his prophets. And they're going to come forth, man. And it may seem like it's taking a while. Hey, but it's not going to take a while. All right. And we're seeing it speed up, man. You're seeing time being sped up for the elect's sake. That's right. You know, so make no tearing to turn to you. How about you? I was shy. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. You know, or, or hey, receive a missile. You know, that's right. That was it on that, brother. Yeah. I got one more for you. Okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 8. Uh-huh. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and, look. and warning and famine. So I can buy it and, here. Okay, Con, this is the book of Revelation chapter 18, verse 8. Uh-huh. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Uh-huh. Death uh-huh. and warning. Look, death and mourning, man. A lot of death is going to come from these ICBM missiles, man. Right. Hey, look, the Lord said you're going to have a feast for the uh, for the, for the fowls of the air, bro, if you paraphrase it. Yep. You know? And famine. 
And look, and famine. And look, all these things are, are, are leading up to the ICBM missile, man. You know, you're going to have Jacob's trouble. All right, you're going to have the plagues the Lord said he's going to bring. Okay? Famine, a, a lack of food, bread, water. Okay? Resources. Okay? It's just going to be a lot of mourning, man. So you're going to have a lot of people, especially Jake, man. Two-thirds of our people are going to be in a mourning state, man. Why? Right. Because they lost their mother. They lost their father. Okay, they lost their kids. They lost yeah. their little hubby. Okay, <laughs> they lost little man-man. Okay, little treat koi. Okay, <laughs> little Shaniqua. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, soup. <Suits. laughs> right. Right. And it reads on. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire. Mm, and what's that she, man? Babylon, that great whore. Okay, it's going to be burnt, man. And them ICBM missiles is what's going to what's going to what's, what's going to do it, man. Along That's with Lord Yahweh Shah and the angels and the chariots, man, with that concentrated fire from them, uh, what they what they ignorantly call UFOs, we call them IFOs. Mm-hmm. We identify those flying objects all day long through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. That's right. You know. And it reads on, for strong is Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah who judgeth her. That's right, man. So strong is your how about you? I was shy. You're going to call God and Jesus Christ. The judge of this bitch, man. That's okay, true. excuse my rude speech. But the Lord, look, we in the season of the Lord judging, man. Mm-hmm. And the judge is just going to ramp up, man. Until this place is destroyed. This filthy whore, man. Right. You know? Hey, yeah, brother, <laughs> I thought the God of the Bible was all about the love, though. That's what it <laughs> said. The right, Lord is going to judge her, man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Now, I just want to say, you know, Brother Hawaii uh, says through his spirit, man, the Lord really got to hate you if he kills you by ICBM missiles. <laughs> right. The Lord is about to lay this land desolate, man. That's right. You know, and, you know, that's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power, man. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, if you got a zeal to you, turn back before it's too late, which we know only the elect will. So this message is only for the elect. That's all I got to say. That's right. Hey, either either repent or, or, or turn to charcoal, man. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. That's right. Because the, the, the ICBM mills are coming to, to, to do some damage, man. That's right. Yeah. Like it, that like it says in Acts the third chapter, repent ye therefore and be converted, man. That's right. So that your sins be blotted out. That's like right. Like brother said, you look, man, you don't want to get burnt by no ICBM missiles, man. Right. You know? So the message, look, man, this place called... America is going to be destroyed. It be in your best interest, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and the confusion of faces that are among us, Hebrew Israelites, to repent, turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. Or just be, be ready to be kings for it, man. Be ready to be some charcoal, some, uh, some, some coal, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> Straight like that, man. That's right. Hey, brother, they always want to be black, right? <laughs> <laughs> Four corners of the earth pushing this truth with diligence and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. 